pop quiz. What can you do with an old laptop and a cheap webcam? Let's go. So to begin this video, let's start off with a problem. So then after I can tell you the solution. So the problem is security systems, you know? Very expensive to get them installed and then very expensive to continue the service. So what do you do about that? If you just happen to have an old laptop sitting around that you don't use anymore and a cheap webcam, then I have the perfect solution for you. So first, you're going to want to take your old laptop and install an application called Yawcam. You can download it from the link in my description down below and install that onto your old computer. First of all, I want to apologize for this view of the screen. This computer is running Windows Vista, so it was so old I couldn't get my screen recording software to work on it. Anyway, let's open up Yawcam. I have the webcam plugged in, as you can see, and it automatically loaded it up in this preview window here, if you couldn't. Uh, get it to load up immediately, then just go over here to this other panel and click settings, device, and then change to, and you choose your device. So first let's go to settings and edit settings. So what we're going to do is set up a MJPEG stream that is able to be accessed anywhere in the world on your phone or computer, whichever you prefer. So the first step is to go over here to the stream tab and port. You'll need to remember that whatever number you set this as, you got to remember that. And stream type MJPEG scale to whatever size you want. I'm going to choose the highest size and image quality 100% and we'll, there are some other settings here like text. You can add various text overlays like the time for example. When you click info here there's all that information there. I'll put down in the description the overlay that I use which is formatted nicely and here you have you can password encrypt the stream output so there are a few things there and now what you'll do is you'll just click stream enable so now let's open up a browser window so let's get a new tab here and in the search up there, we're going to type the IP address followed by colon and then the port number. And there it is. So there you go. Now you can access this webcam anywhere on your network, on any of your computers, if you type in the IP address followed by the port number there, it will show up and you can use password encryption so you put that in first to make it more secure but that's still only on your local network so the way I've done it is I've set up a dynamic DNS with a virtual server so that there is a global IP address for this camera and it is encrypted with the password so you can access it anywhere that's pretty cool, but that's only half of this project that I'm going to do. Let's close this browser window, and now let's click Window Motion Detection. 
that is the other thing that I want to set up. So now I would like to point out that your settings will vary based on the location of this camera and your various detection needs. So you have to mess around with these values a lot on your own to get it all set up perfectly, but here's a little walkthrough of the way I've set up my security camera for motion detection out front of the house. So you have up here you have the option of either an entire image or defining an area. So you can just draw a box and that is the area that is going to detect in only. And then you have detection algorithms, frame by frame or reference image. Frame by frame is the difference between each frame, but reference image is onion skinning from many frames back. I find frame by frame to be a better method of detection. And as you can see, I don't have any filters on. And I have the detection interval at a thousand milliseconds so that you have big differences between the frames. So anything that occurs stays that way for a little bit. I also recommend that you set the sensitivity pretty high and then the tolerance pretty low so that way it detects a lot of little movement but still not too little of movement. So that's basically it. Hopefully this video was pretty helpful to you guys. That's how I'm setting up my security cameras. So yeah, it's a pretty cool application and hopefully this video is helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already and like this video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.